Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorials on quantum statistics. This is video number 41, and I'm going to discuss the Fermi Dirac distribution. Uh, the, the website that I now have is universityphysicstores.com, where I've got all my videos archived and listed. So the previous videos to this are number 40, where I did the Bose-Einstein distribution, number 39, where I calculated the Fermi Dirac distribution using the, part, the grand partition function, and number 30, where I calculated the Fermi Dirac distribution using the multiplicity, and number 29, where I, where I just calculated alpha and beta. So this is the third way of calculating or um, deriving the Fermi Dirac distribution function. So I need you to watch video number 40, where because all I'm using basically is a, an equation I derived in that. In video number 40, uh, would say I had to make a substitution at some stage that x was equal to uh, epsilon minus mu times beta. And once I did that, I was able to come up with a, a formula. And the formula said that the, the we'll say the function, or our occupancy function, was minus 1 over z del z del x. Okay, of course there are serious overtones for the average energy, which is um, del z del beta. Where this was the the, the 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 average energy. Okay, so it looks pretty something pretty similar. So all I'm going to do here is apply this to the Fermi Dirac distribution and derive it in a couple of lines. That's it. So we need to calculate the grand partition function for fermions. We know that their occupancy can be one or zero. That's just the definition of fermions. So z is equal to one plus e to the minus x. Okay, why is that? Well. I showed that I showed that actually in in the video number forty, so I'm not going to do it again. In fact, so the grand partition function is one plus e to the minus x. All right, so that means del z del x is going to be minus e to the minus x, and we can rewrite our probability function or occupancy function as minus one over e to the minus x plus one, and we have this minus e to the minus x factor also. Okay, so that means the function now becomes e to the minus x over e to the minus x plus 1. Okay, and that's it. I suppose that's it. If we, and if we plug in um, the values, the Fermi Dirac then becomes 1 over e to the epsilon minus mu times beta plus 1. Simple. I've done all of the theory in the past, so this is just uh, to show that it works. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And you might also check out universityphysicstutorials.com. Thanks.